What's up everyone, Chico here and welcome to the RegoFast.net page free tutorial series. And we are now on lesson 2. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to test your hosting provider and how to test your local server that you have just set up. So first, let's try to test our hosting provider. First, go to my website www.dragonfast.net and search for PHP Tutorial 2 where you can download the file that you are going to use for the test. You just save. Now go to your hosting provider and log in to your account. Select My Services and then the website where you want to upload it. In this case, I'm going to upload it to the dragonfast.net. Next is login to cPanel. And then select File Manager. Make sure that you select Web Root. Select Upload. Browse. Then look for our file. Upload the test.php file and not the test.rar file. Go to your website and point the test file. I have uploaded it in public underscore HTML. So all I have to do now is type in test.php. The message says it all. You can see here that your hosting provider is great because they can process PHP. So now let's learn how to test the local server that you have just set up using XAMPP. Check your XAMPP control panel and see if your Apache and MySQL is running. If not, just hit start. Go to http colon slash slash localhost and hit enter. You must see something like this. This is from XAMPP. We can also make use of the file that we have downloaded from the dragonfiles.net. All we have to do is save the file on a specific folder. Take a careful look at this because this is the only directory where you can save your PHP files and see them running. So first copy our file, right click and then copy, and then go to your start, my computer, C, XAMPP, and you'll see a lot of things here. But the most important for us is the HT docs. If it is your first time to open this up and set up XAMPP, the only files that you're going to see is these files. The others are just made by me. Just save it here, select paste. Now go to your favorite web browser and remove this XAMPP slash splash dot PHP and replace it with test dot PHP. And the same message will show up. If this message doesn't show up, then there might be a small hitch with your XAMPP installation. Now you might be wondering, why not just double click the file or open it with Firefox? Let's see what will happen when you do that. So there will be an error. It will just show everything that is in your file. This means that every PHP file that you saved in htdocs must be opened using the local host or it will not work. So that's it for this lesson. Please check out www.dragonfast.net and you can see there are a lot more free tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to stay updated for more tutorials. This is Chikoi for the dragonfast.net.